to make the protest uh, that you need. Susan Elliott, if you'll come forward, please state your name, your, your address, and uh, city you're from for the record. I'm uh, Susan Elliott from Laguna Beach. After last week's meeting, I was extremely confused, but thanks to the help of a lot of people uh, who poured over the videos of the meetings and the various versions of the ordinance, things have become clearer. Last week, Mark Bunker asked Ms. Walls if she wrote the ordinance, and Ms. Walls said, I went ahead and wrote that ordinance, and I based it, I think, on the San Diego ordinance. Then Mr. Bunker asked if she wrote the first version, which she said she did, and then he asked who wrote the second version, and we don't know the answer to that question because Mr. Stone interrupted. The confusing part is why did Ms. Walls interrupt every speaker who spoke against the ordinance, insisting the ordinance in its current form allows people to protest in an area away from the residential dwellings, when that is clearly not what the ordinance in its present form says. Her interpretation pertains to the original ordinance, which we know she wrote, but not to the current ordinance, whose author is unknown. Did Ms. Walls change the words residential dwelling that you can see in November 16th to the words property as measured from the property line? There's no mention of residence there. Obviously, what she falsely stated is not what is here in black and white. Why? Does she know what it says because she, or does she not know what it says because she didn't write it? Or does she know what it says and deliberately misrepresented it? In either case, it's alarming. The worst part is I assume the supervisor is about to pass an ordinance not based on what it really says, but on Ms. Wall's false interpretation. And what if the ordinance is passed? We were told last week that this ordinance has nothing to do with the Church of Scientology, but rather it is for a mythical Mormon bishop who voted yes on Prop 8. No one knows who this mythical bishop is or where he lives, maybe not even in Riverside. But in any case, the second version of the ordinance is actually worse for this mythical bishop. Instead of having protesters 300 feet from his house, now they are 30 feet from his property line. But guess what? If a certain church had a huge mile-long property occupying both sides of a road with residences anywhere on the property, the second version moves the protesters a mile away, whereas the first version would have had them 300 feet from the residential dwellings. The other problem is the original version mirrors the San Diego version, which was successfully defended in court, and this one is different, and it's also missing text from the Nebraska version. Sally, you'll need to summarize your times. Okay. I like to believe that the, the best in people, and I've seen some actions, especially from Mr. Buster and Mr. Wilson, that shows they are men of character and integrity, and um, I believe that there's an inkling of, in all of your hearts and minds, that something isn't right here, and I urge you to go with that feeling. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Elliott.